Hi, if you have been following me for a while, you probably know that I have made two pickers in the past. For context, picker.me is basically a site with a bunch of character makers on it. You can scroll and choose one you like, or make an account and make your own. My first two pickers took a while to make, and it was pretty exhausting, so of course I have to make another one. But this time I'm focusing on the clothes. I don't see outfit makers on picker that often, so why not? Also, I will try to explain and show what I do while giving some advice, but I would recommend checking other more thorough tutorials on YouTube as well. And I didn't really record like any of the process, so I'll do my best with the visuals. Okay, let's just get into it already. To make a Picru, the first thing you need to do is go on Picru.me PC version specifically and click Picru Creator at the top of the page. There you can make an account, then you click on the plus button and get to work. It looks complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to navigate. You can add parts or categories, name them whatever you want, change their order, layering and so on. Like I said before, there are a lot of more detailed tutorials on YouTube about which thing is which, what goes where, all of that. I'm sorry, I don't feel like explaining it right now, so yeah. Also, just in case, um, a little warning, there is some like flashing images, flashing colors in the speed paints later on, so yeah, if that's like, if that's like an issue to you, be careful. <laughs> and now the fun begins. And this is where I will give my first piece of advice. Plan everything out. Make a sketch, write it down, really think about what you want the maker to look like, how all the pieces will layer and all of that. Trust me, I didn't do that for my first two and then I had to fix a bunch of mistakes halfway through the process, which slowed everything down significantly, not to mention how annoying that was. And once you have your blueprint or plan, you can start drawing. The canvas should be 600 by 600 pixels, that's important. I start with the base for my character. I make the head, ears, the body all separate pieces. It will help with layering later. I did the same in my second pick crew. It made changing the face shape, ears, layering clothes and stuff much, much easier. Also, I do all the blushing, shading, line art and base colors on separate layers, so I can easily recolor them for more options. Speaking of options, more diverse makers get more popular, since you can play it multiple times and make different characters, rather than makers with a couple different options. You know, you can play it like once or twice and then you just kind of forget about it, because there's not much else to do there. You know what I mean? So I'm adding a bunch of skin colors and two body types. I wish I could do more, maybe two extra ones but that would require adjusting every single clothing piece to each body and I can't add an endless amount of items in here so I had to settle for two I actually forgot that I lined up the hands and feet for both bodies later it helped me with shoes and like bracelets since I only had to draw them once so good job past me I also did a few eyes and eyebrows variations, as, as well as some open mouth options for the head, so you can do different expressions for the character. And for more body variation, I added stuff like scars, stretch marks, freckles, bo boobies, piercings, and so on. And I also make little logos for each category and item, it will make more sense later. And next is uploading the files, which might be my least favorite part of the whole process. But this is where you add the parts or categories. You can name them whatever you want, it doesn't show up when playing. And now I'll try to explain what goes where. 
So here are the color variations. You can add up to 18 colors. They show up right here. This is the item logo that shows up here. And in the part settings, you can add the part logo that shows up here. For the logos, you can do whatever you want, really, just as long as they are easy to understand, you know? And now I start working on the clothes, which is honestly what I was most excited to do, but it's also so fucking complicated. I wanted to have a lot of options and a lot of ways to combine the clothes to fit a lot of different styles, so I had to consider a lot. For example, you can wear a t-shirt tucked into your pants, but you can also wear it loose, over the pants. So I decided to make them into two separate categories. But pants can also be high-waisted and low-waisted, and different items will look different with different pants. But oh wait, what about socks and leg warmers? One goes under the shoes and the other goes over. So that also had to become a separate. But wait, what about normal shoes and boots? You know what I mean? It was kind of, kind of tricky, to say the least. Oh, and I also added underwear because why not? It's not removable though. Okay, I think now is a good time to say that this picker isn't actually done, like at all. I added a couple options to each category, so you can still play around in it a little, but I'll be updating from time to time, probably until I run out of space. I actually did that when making my first picker, and that was the reason why I didn't finish it, <laughs> funnily enough. I asked for suggestions, got a lot of them, and just ended up getting overwhelmed and kind of lost. But hopefully it doesn't happen this time. So like, I am open to suggestions, but I will mostly stick to my own plans. But anyway, after I figured out a good system for the clothes, the process got way more fun. I also did my best to make separate canvases for tops, bottoms, logos, accessories, and so on, to keep it from getting all mixed up. Mm, the hair. I forgot to talk about the hair. Um, I hated doing it in my other pictures, and I still do. However, this time I made it easier for myself by making the hair just two pieces. Sorry, I had to sacrifice the split hair and some extra pieces. I would like to keep at least some of my sanity. Oh yeah, I'm also probably not going to include fantasy-related stuff like colorful skin tones, horns, wings, and all that. Like I said before, this time I'm focusing on the clothes. I still managed to mess the hair up early on though, because when I was looking at it much later, I noticed a gap when using the open mouth option. So, love that. And now, for some last touches, I scroll down. First, I set up a color palette for all body parts. Basically, it means that if you change the color of one body part, they all change color. It's hard to explain more, it's my bad. Um, another problem I have is that some items are clearly not meant to be used together, like half of the clothes cannot be used with one of the body types or hijabs cannot be used with hair, and it's annoying to go back and fix it manually while playing. So I scroll down and click on rules. For some, I make a part rule, which means that two categories cannot be used together. I did it for hijabs and hair. For everything else, I set up item rules, which means specific items cannot be used together. So like. I choose all the clothing pieces that are meant for the first body types and the second body type. So when I try to change one or the other, it all switches together and you don't have to go back and fix it. Or so I thought. So apparently, 
you cannot do this with the first items in line. For some reason. At first, I thought it was because I made the body not removable, so I changed that. Nope, still didn't work, so I guess we just can't do that. That's pretty stupid, I'm not getting blah. I can't even speak because of how annoyed I am. This is so stupid, why would you do that? So in the end it worked, kinda. I don't know, maybe I'll figure something out later, but for now, it is what it is. Well, I guess I could fix it if I make all of the body types and all of the clothing for different body types like its own separate categories, but I don't feel like doing that at this point. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing that. But I also want to mention that some items are not meant to be used together because it just wouldn't make sense. I'm saying this because I have gotten messages reporting a problem in my picker before and the problem was that two items that aren't meant to go together look wrong together. So yeah, I do want to have a lot of layering options, but not everything can be layered. Thank you. And I'm not sure what else to say now. It's just kind of the same process over and over. By the time this video is up, the picker should be public. You can find it by searching baby carrot on picker.me. Also, there is some stuff in there that I didn't include in the video, so it's not completely <laughs> spoiled. I might make other videos about future updates, if you want. Maybe like following a specific theme or picking random suggestions. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to promise too much. But that's it for this video. Thank you for sticking around. I would appreciate a like, a sub, maybe even a comment. Wink wink. You can also check out my other socials if you want. You know, it's just just kind of thing I have. Anyway, yeah. Bye. <laughs>